song Bought a house on Washington To welcome us back Back, back To where we began Good morning. Good morning. What can I get for you? Um, I'll have an espresso. Please. Espresso. Enjoy. Thanks. Can't make it all make sense Words and tones Can't atone this offense Sometimes a song can't make it all make sense Words and tones can't atone this offense What we became is not what we meant Hello again Hey What's your name? Um Um, hello um, is that your name? <laughs> Why don't you want to tell me your name? Sorry, uh, it's it's David. My name's Ivana, but my friends call me Abby. Are you new around here? Yeah, I uh, just moved out. Oh. Okay, well, if you don't have any friends yet, and you don't have anything to do, you could hang out with me after work. <laughs> well, um, I'm not sure. Um, well, I, I haven't started my job yet, so probably. Are you homeless? Well, never mind, but if you can, if you like to, I'd love to show you around. Okay, cool. Uh, can I get a drink? So where are you from? Um, Montauk, New York. Oh, sounds almost exotic. Yeah, that's nice. Here you go. Thanks. You're welcome. What you working on? She surprised me. Um, just some lyrics I've been working on. That sounds amazing. Are you a composer? More of a singer-songwriter. I play guitar. Oh, I wish I played guitar. Who are they for? Uh, it's nothing. Come on, you won't tell me? Really, it's, it's nothing. Good afternoon. What can I get for you today? Uh, I'll have an espresso. Oh, okay. Is that going to be for here or to go? Uh, for here. Better make it to go. Oh, hey, look here what I found. I just got off of work. Are you ready to go hit town? Uh, I guess I don't have much of a choice, do I? <laughs> Watch the tide from a decorated room where the portrait
portraits never change One day you'll wonder how an environment so familiar could become It seems so strange So you compare the color of the sun Aged wall to the wall behind a frame But it's more than shadows Divide the ways we move along From the ways we stay the same It's a little bit of heartache, a little bit of joy, a little bit of indifference. It's a little bit of chaos, a little bit of control, a little bit of riding the fence. It's a little bit of riding the fence. And you can't go back to a clear coat of clean slate, a color that never fades. If you take your time like a nap of valley wine It doesn't mean you'll be better with age Cause we're more than some characters Thrown into a movie or actors on a stage Where a writer and director can turn off a projector And tear out another page You look nervous today. Are you about to tear ask me out? Good. Wait, um, no. Well, I accept. <laughs> you accept what? The date. Uh, I didn't ask you on that. You meant to. <laughs> I did. So where are we going? <laughs> um, well, you're pretty much telling me out, so... Meet me at 10 in the morning tomorrow. Well, you wanted to see it. You are quite the decorator. What's that? I was just commenting on the lack of decor and the general look of the place. <laughs> oh, that. Uh, it's a work in progress. Yeah, slow progress. Hey, I'm a busy guy. Alright, no hard feelings. Uh, tea? No, thank you. I don't golf. What? <laughs> Never mind, I'd love a cup. Uh, I've got Earl Grey. English breakfast, uh, Darjeeling thistle, and whiskey. Whiskey? Uh, yeah, it's not alcoholic. It's a Scottish thing. It's um, kind of got an earthy taste. Mm, I think I'll just go with Earl Grey. I'll be back. I'll be here. Holy Mother Teresa. <laughs> you like it? It looks fantastic. I'm slightly amazed right now. Thanks. My mom always said I was good with this kind of stuff. Well, she was right. Uh, sugar? That's gorgeous. 
Thanks. It's the most fun I've had since I moved here. <laughs> she must have had a boring life, but I'm glad I could help. <laughs> Thanks. I need to get going now. I work tomorrow at 10. Uh, you could stay a while longer. No. No, def definitely not. But thanks for the tea. I wanna wait. I, I didn't mean it like that. Well then how did you mean it? I, I, j I could use some company right now. That's all. Couldn't you have just said that? I'm sorry. It's okay. Are you alright? I'm fine. You're a terrible liar. You want me to practice? Come on, be serious. I am serious. You run away from New York, avoid all my obvious hints, tell me you need someone to keep you company, and then you expect me to believe nothing is wrong? Well... What are you running from? You're persistent. I'm waiting. Okay. Two years ago, my mother left my father for a wealthier man. And I was engaged to a girl I thought I would marry. And suddenly she tells me that she can't stand that I took a job out of state. And breaks it off. And? You mean and? I was on the verge of actually trusting this girl and all she can do is throw me away. And now you're here. And now I'm here, alone. Look, um, I'm just not ready to get into a relationship right now. Um, I'm just not at the point where I can put that trust in someone. Time has a funny way of putting the past behind us. I can give you time. Thanks. Well, you should probably get going. Yeah. Thanks for having me over. Anytime. Uh, you need a ride? No. I can She said time had a funny way of putting the past behind us. What she forgot was that the future doesn't stop to wait. I couldn't spend the rest of my life bemoaning my ill fortune like a man at the edge of darkness. I had much to be grateful for, and a future to welcome with open arms. A future that grants second chances. A future, hopefully, not spent alone. Time had done its work. Now it was my turn to be forward. Hey, Vaughn, can I talk to you for a little bit? <laughs> oh, hey, David. Um, what are you doing here? Can I come in? I'd like to talk. Um, can you, um, I'd love to have you in right now, but, uh, I'm actually on my way out. Could you possibly come by tomorrow? Who's this guy? Who's this? I'm sorry, David. I can explain. I, I, I can explain. Save your words. I don't need them. David, please wait. In the end, time or trust weren't what I needed. In my heart, I'd always thought I could never truly be happy or content unless I was loved by a woman. It had become an idol, an object of worship that was my measure of success. But life had taught me that these idols always fail me, use me, but never fulfill me.